Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Prove by induction that 3 to the power of 2n minus 1 is divisible by 8 for all n is an element of n. So the divisibility ones don't come up too often, so I, I got this one from, from a book. Okay, so our statement is 3 to the power of 2n minus 1. Okay, um, that statement can be simplified if you wish. Okay, uh, 3 to the power of 2n can be written as, for example, 3 squared to the power of n minus 1. So what am I doing there? I'm using this rule of indices. So I have three to the power of two n on this side. So it's a power to a power. So I can write that then as three squared to the power of n, or I could have written it as three n or to be squared. Okay, this one makes more sense to me because three squared is, is nine, it's a number. Okay, so that means I could write this as three squared is nine to the power of n minus one. OK, and it just might make our algebra that bit easier if we write it as 9 to the power of n instead of 3 to the power of 2n. OK, but it's the same thing. It, it doesn't really matter which way you go. So what I'm going to do is show true for n is equal to 1. So then I'll end up with, um, I'm going to work from this one here, but it doesn't matter, 9 to the power of 1 minus 1. So that is 9 minus 1, which is 8. And that is divisible by 8. OK, so that is divisible by 8. All is good for n is equal to 1. OK, then we assume true for n is equal to k. So I'll end up with p of k being equal to uh, 9 to the power of k minus 1. Okay, and if you remember the last one we did, um, we used this letter M to show that it was, you know, divisible by eight. In other words, um, it divided in. So what I'm going to say in this one is that that would be equal to eight M. Okay, and M just stands for, uh, I'll write that down just stands for a whole number because obviously if you divide 8 in, into something if it's divisible by 8 it's going to divide in evenly and m is going to be a whole number okay or i can say then that 9k 9 to the power of k is equal to 8m plus 1. okay um and whether you do that little piece that I just did there now or not, or you leave it like here, you you would get the same marks, okay? Um, um, you'll see in a minute why I wrote it in, in terms of 9 to the power of k. So the last thing I want to do then is prove true for n is equal to k plus 1. So in this instance, I am going to get 9 to the power of k plus 1 minus 1 and I would like to show that again that is divisible by 8 okay so I'm going to break this up again using the rules of indices it's, it's this one this time because it's a uh, k plus 1 so I can break it up into the base number to one of the powers by the base number to the other power OK, so how does this look then? It will be 9 to the power of k by 9 to the power of 1 minus 1. OK, and then 9 to the power of k. This is why I wrote it um, like this. I'm going to sub that in here for my 9 to the power of k. I'm going to bring this 9 to the front. So that I end up with 9 times 8m plus 1 minus 1. OK, so just like with any proof by induction, we go back to what we assumed true for n is equal to k and we use it to help us prove 
the case where n is equal to k plus one. Okay, uh, for the divisibility ones, I made up this letter M to stand for um, the fact that it would be divisible by eight. Okay, so let's multiply this out. I get nine eighths are 72 M plus nine minus one or 72 M plus eight. Okay, I'm trying to show that it's divisible by eight. So I'm going to factor out the eight. Okay, therefore divisible by eight. Okay, um, therefore P of K plus one holds true, assuming P of K is true. P of one was also true. Therefore, P of N is true for all N an element of N. Okay, so this is the little piece you've got to remember here. It's setting it up for yourself to be able to sub in for the um, ninth power of K in this case. And then, then it's, it's easy enough once you have it set up and you remember that's where it goes, then it's, it's fine. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice. In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.